Hi everybody, and welcome to getting started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create profiles and explain what profiles are used for. Profiles in InstructBot are used to control what commands are currently available to your viewers. When running InstructBot for the first time, a default profile will be created. If you only use InstructBot for one application, this will be enough as you can add commands to it. If however you play multiple games, or don't want all your commands active all the time, you can create multiple profiles. You can create a new profile by pressing the add button. I'm going to set up this profile for all the commands I want to share between applications, so I'll call it common. As I want to use these commands in all applications, I'll check the box by name to select them all. I've currently only got one command that I want all applications to use, Alt F4. So I'll select that. A new profile is enabled by default, but if you didn't want it currently on, you should disable it now by clicking on the toggle. That's the common profile created, so all you need to do is press apply to save the changes. Follow steps 1 through 6 for each new profile, and naming them accordingly for each game you would like the controls active for. As I'll be using a profile per application, rather than having one default profile, I'm going to disable the default profile. You can see the different profiles in action by switching to the command overview screen and manually switching in the application when connected. If you toggle automatic off and then select seven days to die, you'll see that only commands from the common profile are active. You can see as you change applications, the active command list is modified. This wraps up creating profiles. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series. Visit our website or join our Discord. Links for both the Discord and website are in the description below.